Hi, I'm Dave Baronic. My call sign was Bio. I was an F-14 Rio and a Top Gun instructor. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the more interesting photos that I took in my career, which you can see here. I shot this in October 1983. This was during my squadron, VF-24's seven and a half month deployment with Air Wing 9 aboard the USS Ranger. The deployment started in July 1983 and finished in February 1984. The geopolitical situation was normal at the time, and we were all looking forward to a great plan. Three port visits in Australia during the month of December. But then things changed. In October 1983, a terrorist bombing in Beirut killed 241 U.S. and 58 French military personnel. As a result, the USS John F. Kennedy, an aircraft carrier, was retained in the Mediterranean to provide options for a response. The Kennedy had been scheduled as our relief in the Indian Ocean, and since she wasn't coming over, we stayed on station in the North Arabian Sea to provide presence, and our port visits in Australia were canceled. This meant that the carrier and air wing would be conducting three more weeks of flight operations than originally planned. Unfortunately, our fuel allocation was not increased, so we would have to stretch basically two months worth of fuel to last for three months. This fuel situation had many effects on the way the carrier and the air wing operated. For us in Tomcats, it affected the way we flew. For example, when we were airborne, we rarely received fuel from tankers. We would still get dry plugs, but that's not much fun. So we had to use our afterburners a lot less. We were always managing and conserving our fuel. It wasn't optimum, shall we say. But we were flying Tomcats. One afternoon, while on a routine flight over the Indian Ocean, I think I was flying with Jaws, and our flight lead was Cowboy. One of the pilots suggested that we take a pure vertical shot. It's a classic that always looks good. But without the fuel to use afterburner, we knew we would be limited to military power and we'd have to plan a little bit more carefully for safety. We briefed the maneuver over UHF. Starting at around 20,000 feet in a fairly tight formation with Cowboy on the right, both pilots selected mill power. We started a shallow dive. By the time we got to around 15,000 feet and 400 knots, Cowboy started a very smooth pull into the vertical to preserve airspeed. As we're going up, I took a few pictures. Cowboy got to 90 degrees pure vertical. By now our airspeed had deteriorated, so both pilots performed a quarter roll away and then pulled their nose through the horizon to regain flying speed and recover. As I said, I only took two or three pictures. Let's take a look at what I got. First, if you look at the engine nozzles, you will see that we're in mill power. These are TF-30s because we're flying the F-14A, and if we were in burner, the nozzles would be open, but they're all the way closed. Second, our loadout does not include a Phoenix. This was one of the fuel saving measures that our squadron used to reduce weight and drag. Now a single Phoenix didn't really add that much, so maybe it was more of a symbolic move. The bureau number of this jet is 160889. The modex is 214. And the names on the canopy rail are Lieutenant Sandy Winnefeld and Lieutenant JG Skip Anderson. If you look closely, you'll see we're not exactly 90 degrees or pure vertical. I measure the angle at 82 degrees. Now Cowboy did get to exactly 90 degrees and I got a good photo of that. But in the weeks that followed the flight, I let the photo lab use the negative to make some more prints. Unfortunately, they put a big scratch right next to the aircraft. I mean a big one. I was so angry that I threw that negative away. I did not foresee a time when there would be digital retouching and correction of prints. And today, this aircraft is on display at the Pacific Coast Air Museum in Santa Rosa, California. From the museum website, we can see it's no longer painted in the tactical paint scheme from 1983, but some East Coast squadron, I think.
Okay, I'm just kidding about that. It's VF84. Keep watching for more videos. And if you haven't visited yet, you can always check out my website, topgunbio.com, for more pictures and flying stories. Cleared and switching.